Hi and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now if you want to follow along with these classes we've been building using some class files um, that you can find in the link in the, below this YouTube clip or in the top left of the website if you're viewing it from there. Alright, um, in this tutorial we're going to look at creating what is called a class. So the overall term is called a selector. Okay, you can see the names of them there. So these are, these are the selectors. We, in a previous tutorial, looked at styling what is called a tag, and that includes things like your H1, your H2, your P tags, and um, we looked at the A tag, which is your hyperlink. So those are tags. So we're gonna style a different kind of selector now. So instead of the tags, we're gonna look at what's called a class selector. Now, think of a tag selector as a predefined um, selector. So somebody else has written this thing called H2, H1, and we know that it's to do with our heading one. The P tag is to do with our paragraphs. Now say we want to make our own custom one. That's where a class comes in. A class can be used, uh, can be named by us and can be told to go anywhere it likes. So let's say that um, the client comes back and says, yes, I like this H1, but this word rentals, I'd like to be in bold and green for whatever reason. Okay, now using my current tools, I could go into the H1 and style it, but I'd style the whole H1. If I make it green, even though I highlight just this bit, the rentals, and I say, I want you to be now a green, and hit enter, you'll notice the whole H1 becomes a green. It's what they call a block level selector. It means that um, if you style the um, tags, it means it styles every H1. If you had two H1s on this tag, it would style both of those. So that's not gonna work for what we need. So I'll put this back to a blue. What I want is to use this new kind of selector called a class to style this last little bit of rentals. So it doesn't really matter where your cursor is to start this part. What you need to do is make sure over here on the right that you've got your, you want to go into the CSS file. I want to create a selector and I don't want to use any of these ones. I want to create my own one. Now to create a selector, you need to put a full stop in front of it. Okay, so it needs a full stop and then you can give it a name. You can give it any name you like. Making sure that you don't use spaces will give you problems and don't use any of the things like asterisks and dollar signs and at symbols, anything like that. So just numbers and letters, please. So we're gonna call this class, uh, we're gonna call it highlight. Um, you can call it anything you like. You call this green and bold, you can call it anything you like. Okay, so I'm calling this one highlight. Now just underneath this, I'm gonna hit enter. It allows me to create this, um, the properties for this class. So zoom out a little bit. Okay, and what I want to do is jump down to the text and I want to make it green like the client asked. Okay, so I've dragged my hue slider and I've dragged the circle over to the top right hand corner just to get the right kind of green that I want. I've hit enter. And I'd like to play around with the style. Not the style, I want the weight. Okay, so under weight, I'm gonna look at um, we've got, it's on normal at the moment, I'm gonna change it to bold. Okay, and lo and behold, nothing happens. Okay, so you've created this class in your CSS sheet called highlight, now we need to apply it. So what happens is classes get applied on top of tags. So I've got this one called my H1, you can see it down here, if I highlight this thing here, that is my H1. On top of this, just this little special bit, I'm going to apply um, it's already got my format H1, I'm gonna apply the class called highlight. So this thing here now has the H1 tag and a span class called highlight. All right, so that's how you create a class and apply it on top of a tag. Um, let's check out the CSS sheet just quickly. And you'll notice in here, I've got my H1, there's my H2, there's my P tag, and here's this last, um, last little guy here, which is my class, it's got a full stop highlight, okay, and I've just changed the color and made the font weight bold. All right, um, that's it for this tutorial, I'll see you in the next one.